hello good morning all today in this video we are going to discuss regarding how to add buttons in tree view in Udo. so currently in the screen you are seeing Udo version 15 community edition where we are continuing our Udo 15 development tutorials so in this video what we will be doing is that we will be adding buttons in tree view so if i go to the appointments and if i open any of the appointment let me open a draft appointment or let me create a new appointment from here i'll select a patient and if i click on save in the form view we have buttons like in consultation so if i move this to in consultation we have mark as done button in order to make it as done so what we will be doing is that we will be adding those buttons inside the list view so rather than going inside and clicking the button user can directly click those buttons from the list view so let's see how we can do that so first of all i'll go to the pie charm and here we have the custom add-ons and i'll open the om hospital and i'll go to the views folder and appointment view.xml so here we have the appointment tree view so what we will be doing is that inside this tree view i'll be adding a button so suppose this is in in consultation state and if i have to move it to done state i have to right now i have to open then click on mark custom so instead of that i'll be adding a button as a column in the tree view so let's see how we can achieve that so i'll go to the pie chart and let me go to the corresponding form view and here you can see in the form view we have button called mark as done so simply i'll copy that button and i will put it inside the tree view so after the last field field name state that is after the field status field name state i will just put my button inside the tree along with the fields so button name is action done string markers done class oe highlight data hot key will not be supported in the tree view because we will have multiple records so data key will not be removed type object states equal to in consultation so states will not be work in tree view so it will work only in the form view so let me remove that also and let me restart the service and let me go to the ui and let me upgrade om hospital module so i'll be upgrading the om hospital module so you can see the module is getting upgraded and if i come back to the appointments and here you can see mark as done button is visible now in the tree view so if i need to move this record op0014 to done state simply click on here you can see the record will get to the corresponding state but you might feel looking the buttons when the buttons are displayed like this it won't look good the string is not looking good so what let's make some ui changes for this button so i'll go to the pie charm and first of all i'll remove this class oe highlight and what i will do is that we don't need to display this button always suppose if the record is in in consultation state i have to make this button visible so simply i will add an in config condition here attrs equal to then dictionary invisible then state not equal to consultation state not equal to in consultation simply i have added a condition here i have to hide this button when the state of the record is not equal to in consultation so let me restart and let's upgrade and see the difference so i'll go to the apps menu and i'll just upgrade om hospital module so you can see the module is getting upgraded and if i come back to the appointments now you can see the markers done button is only visible for those records having state as in consultation but still you may feel the button is not looking good so we can add some more classes to the buttons so we have this font awesome classes so here you can see i have opened a website font awesome cheat sheet .com. so all these classes are supported inside the Udo. so what i'll do here we have a checkbox 
f a check so simply i'll copy this class and what i will do i will put it for this button so string class f a f a check simply i have added this class for the button so this class if you check here this will bring this tick mark so instead of mark as done i have simply added a tick mark so let's upgrade the module and see the difference so i'll upgrade the om hospital module so the module is getting upgraded and if you come back to the appointments you can see a tick mark is getting appeared over here now we can simply remove this mark as done text so simply i'll click on edit list view and i'll remove this string mark as done and i'll save and just i will refresh now let's see how it is so you can see you have got a single tick mark so if you click on that you can see the record is moved to done state and the tick mark is getting invisible so if you go to the pie charm i'll simply remove the string from here also and i will add one more class to this button so simply i need to make this tick mark as in a green color in order to show it is done state i'll simply make it in the green color so in order to make it in make it in the green color you have a class in odoo called button success so here you can see class button success so simply i'll copy this class Control c and along with this fa check comma i will add this class also so we have class fa fa check button success so let's upgrade and see what happens so i'll go to the apps menu and i will upgrade om hospital module again so the module is getting upgraded and if i come to the appointments now we can see the button is coming in the green color so if you click on, click on that you can see the record is moved to done state similarly what i will do i will be adding the cancel button also so we have in the form view we have got the cancel button so simply i'll copy that and i will put it in the tree view i'll add it here and cancel data hotkey has to be removed from the tree view context we can pass action type action state this will not be applicable so what i'll do i'll simply copy this and i'll put it here and let me adjust this invisible state not in so as we have multiple records not in i'll put like this as a tuple draft and in consideration so let me explain what i have done so i'll just remove this states equal to draft and in consultation so what i have done is i have added an invisible condition invisible state not in either if state is not in draft or in consultation this button has to be invisible so similarly i'll remove this string from here and i will add this class and instead of fa check if you come to the sheet we have a cross mark if you search for cross mark here you can see we have a cross mark and its class is fa fa time so i'll clock i will copy this class and i will add it here fa fa check so let me add it here and button success so instead of button success i will use button danger for red color that is i need to show cancel button in red color so i have used the class button danger and for green color i have used button success now let's upgrade the module and see what happens so i'll go to the apps menu and i will upgrade om hospital module so you can see the module is being getting upgraded and if i come to the appointments you can see we have got two buttons so if i click on the red button you can see the cancel pop-up will be coming from where you can cancel this appointment so that functionality has been not added so if i go to this wizard so let me go to that wizard cancel appointment action cancel so what i'll do is that simply self dot self dot what i have to do self dot appointment id so simply i'm adding self dot appointment id dot state equal to cancel so i just added a code here and let me check its state let me check the appointment.py 
the state is cancel so on clicking the cancel button i am moving self dot appointment id dot state equal to cancel now let's restart and if you come to the tree view again i'm cancelling this record click on cancel you can see it has been moved to done state now if you need to mark it as done simply click on here if you click on cross mark this will come cancel and it will get cancel so similarly you can add buttons inside the one to many tree view also but when you add buttons inside the one to many tree view the button will get enabled only the record is saved so you have to keep that thing in the mind whenever you add button inside one to many lines the button will get active only when the record is saved so i hope you understood how we have created the buttons inside the tree view so i'll create a appointment and here you can see we have got this is in draft state so in draft state we have cancel option and if i move this to in consultation we have got either we can mark it as done or we can mark it as cancel so this is how you can add buttons inside tree view in odoo so i hope you understood this video if you like the video please do click the like button and support us by having a comment and sharing the video with your odoo friends so that's it for the day have a nice day thank you